waiting for you to be ready. All right, then we're ready. What's up, YouTube? What's up? I got Evan Nagao in my car. How cool is that? So we were looking for a place to film, and uh, we went to this ice cream place, and these just go random, sorry. That's just how terrible they are. Um, and we were just going to this ice cream place, and we were like, who wants ice cream? It's like 30 degrees out. Apparently, a ton of people want ice cream. <laughs> yeah. And like, why would you want to eat ice cream here? And in Pittsburgh, it's so cold. Like, and you know, like, I don't know. In addition to that, they were totally bumping the radio, which would have totally got this video silenced. So we're in my car, because there's no radio, and there's lights, and uh, I think we look pretty handsome. Dude, this is like really solid like production, like no joke. We got the microphone, the car has a built-in microphone, and we got the built-in lights, and it's actually just really nice. It's good, and it's it's good. Kai's You're on your phone, like, yeah, it's, it's just like, the setup is like production quality setup, but in your car. It's, per it's this is, this what is how- What car is this? This is a Ford, what the hell is this? Escape. Yeah. Ford Escape, I'll remember that. Yeah. Well, like when I want to do well, like future vlogs. Yeah, buy an Escape, it'll help. Yeah. And then, but don't drive it. You have to park because otherwise YouTube will yell at you. True. Yeah. So I'm going to interview Evan if you haven't figured out. We're not just going to sit here and talk. Although we are kind of just going to sit here and talk. Yeah, I mean, that's what it, I mean, that's what an interview is. So Evan, what's in your pockets? What's in my pockets? Uh, money and my phone. Evan has money, everybody. And my phone. <laughs> and money. Well, everything I have clips to me. So I have keys and... My yo-yo pat weird yo-yo bag pouch thing that fits okay. every yo-yo. Yeah, I usually just carry my yo-yos in my pocket. Oh, but like so, like we have our yo-yos here. Must on wear the side. more hoodies than me. What? You must wear more hoodies than me because I don't put them in my. You put them in your jeans pocket? Yeah, just like this. Is that a yo-yo in your pocket? Or are you excited to see me? That's uh. <laughs> That's a yo-yo. Could be really? a little bit. Of, could be a little bit of both. Nobody you know, knows. Yeah, he's excited to hang, be hanging out. Other than all your signature yo-yos, what's your favorite yo-yo? Favorite yo-yo? I think, um, actually I thought about this because I saw you ask Tyler this You question. knew I was going to do this to you. I knew it already. Um, but, so like I was thinking about it, I think my favorite yo-yo besides my yo-yo and besides any yo-yo factory yo-yo oh, Thank you for doing that because I was totally going to do that. I know. Yo-yo factory. Yeah. <laughs> well like, okay, yo-yo factory yo-yo besides Edge Monster. Besides okay. yo-yo factory, um, there's a yo-yo called the MK okay. by Aldi. It's, okay. it's Marcus Coe's, like, previous, like, before he made, like, before he won Worlds, I think, he had a signature yo-yo. Yeah. Well, he's been around that long? Yeah. Okay. So, is that that's, the MK was just, like, the, that was actually one of my first throws that I got after coming back into the yo-yo scene, like, in 2014. Okay, so the MK from Aldi. Is, yeah. That's the way. It's so good. Okay. Like, it, it, like, it literally, when I threw it the first time, I was like, dude, this is, like, the feeling was, like, cutting warm butter with a hot knife. That's, that, that's, that's a great way was. to describe it. Yeah, like, yeah. literally, that's how I felt. Like, I, there's no other way I could describe it. I appreciate you using those kind of descriptors, because that's what I try to come up with when I review these things. And I'm like, the, the fact that I'm going to use that now. So when I steal it later and you notice it, just think of it as an homage to you. For sure, for sure. It's not a, I'm not. Feel free. I'm, yeah, it's an homage. <laughs> it's because I, I care. You guys know what the edge looks like. I reviewed it. And I, rel I I pretty often say it's my favorite Yo-Yo Factory because it's the best one. Evan would agree with me, but yeah, he, he designed the thing, so <laughs> I mean, I'm a little biased, but hey, you know. But I am not, and I would dog any Yo-Yo Factory, <laughs> but I don't dog the the Edge because I really like it. So nice. um, let's talk about this because mostly I talk about gear, and I'm just gonna hold your Yo-Yo and wave it around while I do this because go for it. Man. This is what I do. So th I promise not to flick it too many times. Um, and so when you were designing this, mm -hmm. what were you like, cause clearly like this is, there's not really there, especially when this came out, this has been out for a little while now. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a bimetal like this. Like this was like all the bimetals that were out pretty much at the point in time when you were designing this had the rings clamped to the edge, the edge like that, the ends mm -hmm. of the cup. And it was all extra rim power out here. You got these big, huge rings moved back a little bit, and honest to God, the first time I threw this, I was like, "That's what I've been missing for missing in in bimetal yo-yos." Is that like I feel like they all like the drop near, they want to play too fast, or they just are all this rim weight, and I'm just like, "Oh man, I just threw a rock." But then I threw this, and like it felt light, and it felt like it was it did everything I wanted it to do, and it, like I felt like 
it was super easy to use and just super high performance. Like the, the Czech Republic, people from the Czech Republic, shout out to Robert Kuchetta, will say like, this yo-yo has soul. Yes. Like it has soul to play with. It's yes. not just like, <clears throat> like there are yo-yos that are really like good, theoretically, like the drop near or you know, whatever, but the, they sometimes can feel empty to certain people. It's all No, I would agree fun. with that and I would say that in a video if yeah. I was if I was the one saying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To certain people, like like I'm not I, I personally like I like drop near and stuff, but I do feel like there's something to Edge when we designed it that it had this kind of feeling like Wow, this is just like, it has soul. Like, there's no other really explanation for it. Yeah, and I, I I would agree with that. And I also kind of felt like it just had, like, it was that. It was easy to use. It was clearly very competition, but it wasn't, like, boring. Mm -hmm. And I thought I felt like that was sort of, like, a lot of competition you use, they focus straight on performance because it's, like, you know, if you're competing, like, you don't necessarily, like, I'm sure it's fun to compete, but that's where the fun is. You're not, like... You know, looking to toss around an organic yo-yo and be chill. You want to win the freaking competition, and right. I know you want to win because uh, current national champion, by the way. That's right. Good man. <laughs> but uh, so that car total, that bus totally could have clipped us. That would have been funny. You know, I know you want to win, mm -hmm. and you know, but I, I. So I felt like that was like all of that was there. Like it's mm -hmm. stable. It spins a long time. It's powerful. It does, it's easy to use. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like. Fun as hell. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't want to put the edge down when I'm playing. Well, I'm just like playing yo-yo, and I'm like, oh wait, what happened? Three hours have passed. Oh, I probably should have done my taxes or something. And uh, so, you know, kudos to that. I really like that. Like, you really focused on, and the one that I review, I don't know if this one has it, but some of them have like, uh, like brushed rings too. And that was mm -hmm. kind of my thing. Was like, I like doing a lot of grind tricks, mm -hmm. and you know, so to have the that some of them come with like brushed rings too so it's like it doesn't skip off your hand mm -hmm. when it's like the middle of summer I always kind of thought was awesome and I like this finish anyway I don't know if you guys used a different finish if you factory used a different finish on these but I felt like all the edges were finished fantastically and I've played half a dozen of them at this point mm -hmm. and shout out to the factories that did the finishes on the yo-yos because they're great yeah they did a good job like it's it's really good so I mean in my opinion still my favorite yo-yo factory and you know worth it I'm, it came down like 20 bucks in price to play 80 bucks oh yeah yeah the newer so, versions are yeah cheaper now so it's I mean it's even better yeah it's, I'd suggest get one I mean you know it's a good competition yo-yo so. it's a good I mean I don't shameless self plug actually that's what like this whole video is isn't it like I just feel like no I, I might be mean to you later you don't know uh, <laughs> like, but like, yeah no it's that's what it is, shameless self plug, but it's cool because you're gonna sit in my car and, and uh, like, you're not gonna leave. No, I'm I give you, I give you, like content, and then you give me shameless self. -plug. Exactly. Uh, that's how. You can click it's links in the description and find Evan. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so the Edge, awesome. Clearly, uh, you know, you're you're more or less your main competition yeah. area, which you carry every day. This one's got a lot of love on it, but it still looks like it's held up pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing this one specifically? That one. That one might have been my backup at Nationals. Okay, so a couple months. Yeah, a few months, yeah. A few months now, okay. So, this one, holding up pretty good. Uh, Evan tends to be rough on your stuff, huh? A little bit? Yeah. Occasionally? That's okay. I Not occasionally. Like all the time. All the time, yeah. I feel like every you know, player of your caliber that I've met, like, you guys just beat the living hell out of your yeah, yeah. I think I do so more often than other people. Like, I, like, I don't want to take pride in that like it's not something that I want to do but just like the the style of tricks that I do uh, definitely has a lot more risk in like dinging your yeah, yeah, so. there's a lot of uh, yeah you have a lot of bangers that like how many times have you hit the ceiling that's probably a good I, I would say well, there's a reason why they're called bangers you know because <laughs> they bang off they things. bang off of everything yeah <laughs> so, I mean I've hit the ceiling quite a few times yeah, yeah my, it depends where you're at my ceiling near my sink is like, you look up and you're like, oh, let's see it. Let's see where the yo-yos hit the ceiling. Yeah. So is there like a spot in your house where there's like, oh, that's where the yo-yos hit There's the ceiling. not like a particular spot, but I've definitely hit the yo-yo on the ceiling a few times. Are there marks in the walls and stuff where like yo-yos hit the walls yeah, and the ceiling? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Sweet. Sometimes my yo-yos have like little white spots. I don't know if this one does, but like sometimes they'll have little white spots where the paint came off. Yes. I brought my wedge. It's black and it's dark, but anyway. So the wedge came out around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around Christmas time. Uh, 30, 
five dollars. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, Delrin, right? Two dollars. Yes. Yeah, nail him on the head. You're with on this, it today. I'm man. on it today. With these cool finger spin, dimply things that I told Evan as soon as I got my. Why don't you guys blast them? And they, he's like, well, think about that in future runs. Good That's, idea. Good idea. I appreciated that. That yeah. was like, I was certain, not certain, but like, I was like, most people, if I'd have said that to anybody else about their yayos, mm-hmm. they'd have either flat out ignored me or just like, retorted something probably mean but you were like that's kind of a good idea we'll see about that in the next ones and i was like that's awesome thanks yeah. dude and well then, it's definitely good like i mean input's always good you know no matter what no matter if you're gonna blast somebody about it or like not like I just nice having about that it. perspective is, is really mind. good i was nice about it you were you were very nice that's about the one <laughs> you did i asked you about it i was like well because the, the white ones came out first and i'm like well, when, when did the black ones come out because i'd seen pictures and they're like one of them they was like the mystery box Mm-hmm. So I was like, when did the black ones come out? And I was like, and you were like, uh, give it a couple weeks. And sure enough, a couple weeks well, later. Got the inside scoop. Boom. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, just ask Evan. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> just ask Evan. Or you can ask me and maybe I'll ask Evan later when I see him. Yeah. Yeah. Go through good. him for the inside scoop. Yeah, go for me. Because I'm, I'm maybe, I maybe now. Wedge is cool. Uh, I carry the wedge actually a lot because... I like big plastic yo-yos, and I feel like you guys kind of went a different way with the wedge. With the wedge, it was mm-hmm. like you went, you know, this is light, competition-ready bimetal, which mm-hmm. is perfect, and this is like big chunky Delrin plastic, which uh, I kind of have two thoughts on on how I like yo-yos to play. I want yo-yos like metal yo-yos to be kind of light and just designed well and machined well, but I want plastic yo-yos to be kind of big and heavy mm-hmm. because I, that's just the way I like. Plastic yo-yos feel, and I feel like they play better when they're heavier because you can't like, you know, focus rim weight or anything. Like they have to be a certain way. So why not just give it more mass and make it heavy and let me bang it off of things so that I don't kill it? Yeah, actually, the design idea initially when we created Wedge was, um, I kind of just wanted a yo-yo at a lower price point that people can get into yo-yoing. Like let's just say they watch, you know, my national yo-yo contest freestyle, mm-hmm. and then they look Evan Nagao up on like. Google or whatever so like they have a way to enter through that uh, and I can get a royalty from that as well that's good for you and good for everybody else. good for everybody but the, also I wanted to make it so that if they started off with this yo-yo and they transitioned more into competition it would be possible to compete with it and that's why it's so rim rim efficient I guess you could say where there's very little uh, like the walls are very thin here so there's okay. very little weight here so that it would spin long enough for you to complete like a competition freestyle. It, totally, and I, I think, I mean, that was like one of the first things when I noticed it, it was like two things. One, it, it played the way I wanted it to play, mm-hmm. which I think I said that in the review. I was like, this this does what I want it to do. And it had finger spin dimples because why not? If you're gonna put the, if you gotta design hubs because it's plastic, why not? It's the best way to do it. And when they don't have them, I'm like, well, why? Why is this just this weird flat thing with engravings on it? But you guys, and it totally kills it. Like, it finger spins a long, long time. And sometimes I just throw it and I finger spin, and I'm just like, I just leave it there. And I think, how could I bind this? Or what should I do? And then I'm like, I look at it for like 30 seconds because it's just spinning. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I should bind it. Like, <laughs> bring it back. But it's like, very, very awesome. And Yo-Yo Factory kills it with every plastic, mm. every time. So like, when a new Yo-Yo Factory plastic comes out, I'm like, I want that. Mm-hmm. So the fact that you put one out that was like based off of a yo-yo that I already like really loved, mm-hmm. I was like, well, of course I want that. So uh, this is the polycarbonate wedge, which is pretty much the same exact design as the Delrin wedge, but it's molded. So that means that uh, Yo-Yo Factory can create them at a lower cost and thus give them at a yo- or sell them at a lower cost to the consumer. So cheaper, cool. Polycarbonate, polycarbonate yo-yos are cool. Like, there's yeah. no, like, you know, Protostar, North Star, those are all polycarbonate. Now this doesn't have a steel ring in it, but. This one's clear, so you can kind of see through it. I don't know if you can, like, yeah, on you this can see camera. through it, it's working out. Um, basically, it's just like the other wedge. I actually personally enjoy this one more. Excuse me, just for just fun, just like playing around. Um, wedge for me, like the Delrin one, is probably more precise in competition. Yeah. So, so I know, like, probably your viewer base is more like 
not as much into competition, I guess. They'll buy both of them. Actually. Both of them? Yeah. <laughs> so buy buy all the buy, buy all the yo-yos. <laughs> buy all my yo-yos. No, um, just no. Buy all the yo-yos, literally. Buy everyone. all the yo-yos. Just yeah. buy every single yo-yo. Yeah. It only way. costs you like you know a hundred thousand dollars. No, yeah, it's not that bad. I've got most of them. It's it would I don't make that much money. You it's can fun. buy a Ferrari, or you can buy every single yo-yo that ever existed. I feel like the yo-yos might be more fun. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel like you could make a Ferrari out of a stack of yo-yos, like a Ferrari shape, and that would be really. Cool. Can we try that? One day, when okay. I when I have enough money to buy a Ferrari, I'll remember this. Okay. I'll, I'll remember. And that way, we can use your Ferrari to model it after the Ferrari we build out of yo-yos. Exactly. That's a good idea. Yeah. Or we can just like put yo-yos around the Ferrari. Okay. So, and you gonna and, drive like, it to Pittsburgh? On. You can drive a Ferrari to Pittsburgh so we can do that, or I have, to fly to, I have to fly out. Of course. No, no, no. We're, we're it sounds it, like more we're fun. We're taking to, it cross country. It sounds more fun to drive the Ferrari here, in all honesty. Um, so, I'm super excited about this, uh, and when we're done filming this, I'm going to go throw this outside for a, a minute before I go home. But uh, this this looks, I mean, it's the same. It I'm I love polycarbonate yayas in a way that, like, I don't know why, mm -hmm. but it's just, they're always fun. So, this looks. Awesome, and you know, this is a prototype, I'm sure, right? Yes. Yes, but that's going to be the the exact same design. But do you know how many um, what other colors it's coming in? Because um, I feel so, like that's the fun part of polycarbonate yeah, is that like yeah, you can come out in a zillion colors. Yeah, and yeah. Then you can half swap them. All. Exactly, exactly. Well, so like this is my favorite personal color, but clear's will, good. Yeah, clear's cool. I just like how you can see you the can string. See, yeah, that's awesome. So like when you're doing certain tech tricks and stuff. Like, you know what would be really good on that? What? Some zipline strings because they come zip in lines. awesome colors. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> check that out. Anyway. Boom. Say, shameless, Boom. shameless promotion for my buddy. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, do you know like what colors it's coming in? Um, so blue and Ooh, orange yeah. hubs, I believe. That and might then, be mine. I may have to get that one. Yeah, and then, so the clear one, clearly, and then clearly. Yeah. Clearly, and then, clear. That was good, actually. You puns like that good. one? You like puns, that one? Puns are good. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I, I'm, I'm funny, huh? Anyway. Evan is funny. I've been hanging out for the last hour. All right, so anyways, uh, <laughs> what were we talking about? Pomegranate, we're going to do like, you know how, no, not pomegranate, uh, pink. Like, um, you know. Pink's good, too. The first base that came in um, dragon fruit color. Yes. Right? Yeah, that same color. Okay, right? I like that. Um, and then it's gonna have blue, I believe, hubs. Like cool. lighter blue hubs. So. Might have yeah. to get that too. Yeah, I just was like, man, that first base is super cool. And I was talking to Tyler too. I was like, Tyler, like, tell me how you get this color. And he's like, I'll just send you like the code. <laughs> I'll for, just like, let the... you. I'll tell you how it works. Yeah. Because Tyler's cool like that too. Tyler's like, super cool. He'll super, be like, super nice. Yeah. He will. He will give up the secrets. Just for no reason. I think we're all kind of like like that though. We're kind of in it to see the yo-yo community as a whole succeed. I think you're like that as well. Like, Absolutely. You know? I give. I would give the secret to me. We're dropping. I think this is new info. I don't know if it's on Instagram. It might be. It probably is. What? The this the poly wedge, poly carb wedge. This is yeah. This is new info. Completely new info. You're finding completely new yo-yo factory info out on my channel. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. Thanks, never dude. been before, never before been released. Actually, I did post one picture on Facebook one time. That's fine. But people didn't know what it was. That's fine. So now you know, and we've talked about it. And I talked about it with Evan, which is cool. And I'm going to get to throw it after this. So let's talk about you. Okay. I know, we've made it this far. So mm -hmm. let's talk about you. So you were on Ellen as a kid, mm -hmm. and everybody knows that, so we don't have to talk about that. Mm -hmm. that anyway. Okay. <laughs> so... You got back into yo-yo, mm -hmm. and over the last few years particularly, I'd say probably the last three-ish, mm -hmm. you've been making, like, big waves because, like, you know, every contest you're in, you score really well, but, like, it seems like your contest performances are really, like, driven to be, like, fun to watch. Like, you're fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where a lot of guys score really well and do really well in contests... Sometimes they're not as fun to watch, but mm -hmm. like you are always fun to watch. So when you put a freestyle together, are you like, okay, I need to do what scores the best, or is it like, this needs to be fun for me to do, fun to watch? Like how how do you is how do you make sure that it's fun to watch every time, or is that just comes natural? Um, like I think definitely when putting my freestyles together, I think about the the audience, like what what does the audience want to see, like. 
so then I'll have two goals. Like I'll have okay, my first goal is to win the contest. Clearly. My first goal is to score points. And National think, champion, so. Clearly. Yeah. My second goal is to just make sure that the crowd enjoys it. And so so like by Can't having confirm they do. They they do enjoy the freestyles, I think. Yes. I There's hope. always a lot of cheering. I hope so. I don't think they're just being nice. I think they're actually <laughs> having fun. Yeah. Because I've heard quiet crowds. Yeah. So so that's kinda like the thing is like basically by going in with my goals in mind, then everything is shaped around that. So I'll, I'll do a trick maybe, and then let's say it's like some trick that scores really high. Then I'll see like, okay, well, how can I make this trick really interesting and exciting? So for example, at Nationals this, this past year, I was like, man, if I did it to like Buster Rhymes, there's something amazing about how fast he can rap. Yeah. Right, there's just like that, like, wow, like how can you like continuously rap for like a minute or two minutes straight just that fast without breathing yeah. without breathing and then he like breathes one time and it's like the coolest thing but like so like I decided to kind of mix up a speed combo which is like a really generic like boring trick mm -hmm. to, to that type of music which I thought would make it like more interesting for the crowd to like get it like excited about I, it, and it totally was because as you're saying that I'm remembering the video of you doing it and I'm trying to think of anybody else, like while I was talking, I was trying to think of anybody else doing a speed combo, and I was like, no, I can't think of it, but I can absolutely remember yours. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, like you said, it was just it was just a speed combo, and they, it was yeah. going so fast, it's like, I don't know what strings you're hitting, and you know, it's far enough away, but like, mm -hmm. I remember you doing it to Buster Rhymes in time, and I'm like, that was freaking cool. Because mm -hmm. it was. So, okay, well that's good insight. Um, and as far as, the other thing that I like about you, particularly, and we talked about this a little bit before, is that I feel like, you know, even though you're such a, like, a really good competitor, like, you're clearly, like, one of the top tier guys in the world, mm -hmm. but, like, you're very accessible still. Like, you're, like, you know, you're on Facebook, you know, you don't comment on every last thread, but, like, you comment fun things, you're not, like, like, you're out there. Like, people can talk to you, you're friends with people on Facebook, it's, like, you <laughs> yeah. comment on things, you're... You're having fun with us on Facebook and stuff, and it's it's good, and it's like, you know, you're in Reddit sometimes, and you're just out there, and you're like, you have a really good social media presence in that, like, you're, not only are you a top competitor, but you're one of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, you're not like this, like, untouchable, like, superstar. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you're, you're kind of a superstar, but you're, oh, you're oh, one of us. Okay. I, I used the All word. Right. Okay, right. I used it. I mean... Wasn't me. You're a yo-yo factory superstar. <laughs> that's, Although that's you throw a, the wedge. That's a good one. All right. That's a good one. Yeah, I like kind that. Of looks like a superstar, right? But I'm on the edge of being a superstar. The edge, that close. But I think you really do a great job of balancing that. So, is that something that's important to you, or are you just like being a part of the community and it's just like fun? Like, yeah, I think it's it is very important for me, like, to realize that. I'm not really like that important like and not not in like not to say that I'm not like not to rec not recognize my talents and stuff mm -hmm. but just to like show to see that there's a lot of other people that have you know unique skills and abilities too and like this just happens to be something that I'm good at like but like at the end of the day it's like I like my goals and what I want to do is to have just an awesome community and just like to grow the community and just enjoy people and like have fun at contests and like like my, my goals, goals are the same. Yeah. My goals are not like necessarily to like to you know be some like superstar. It's like my goals are just to like have fun, but also I just happen to be really good at yo-yo. Like, you you are really good at yo-yo. So I, I mean I really I appreciate that. Cause it, it comes across as genuine. You're not like you're you're a pretty young guy, so it's like, you know, it's I remember being your age and it's like I feel like you just carry yourself in a good way, and it's like, you just like, you know, you don't seem to make a lot of missteps, although you're very much involved. Oh, I in do. No, I totally do. Like, <laughs> man. Well, let's talk about that. What was your worst misstep? Oh, no, I, I've had tons. Like, just like recently there was one, I, I don't want to say specifically because it was pretty bad, but like, I posted something on the Yo-Yo BST, and it was, it was something slightly misogynistic, uh -oh. and I got a lot of hate from like one of the Yo-Yo moms, which is like, like, warranted like I deserve to get that you deserve you deserve heat for me I, I deserved it like a hundred percent and like but like at the same time that's important to realize that like no matter who you are like every single person makes mistakes and that's exactly what I said like I realized that like I shouldn't have said what I said here and like I'm sorry like I'm just a human like I say things that I, I shouldn't have said 
like all the time and you know it's just I like, say stuff I shouldn't say all the time yeah it's like you just have to kind of thanks for agreeing but <laughs> <laughs> yeah you do you do no, this guy say, definitely says oh, too absolutely. many bad things no, no. like I, I can edit those out later yeah I just feel like everybody kind of makes mistakes and like that's part of being human and it's important to like realize though that you are making mistakes because there's a lot of people that will like make a mistake and then they'll try to like justify themselves or double down on it double down on that's it. what i'd have done if i was your age yeah. i try to not, i just try to not make mistakes now although i fail miserably but uh that's that so I, I i have a lot of respect for you in that like you put yourself out there and even if you make a misstep not that i've ever noticed so <laughs> i think you're fine but sweet you know i i Got a perfect record in his mind in my mind not in everybody else, but in perfection. Um, that's all I need. Because I didn't see it, so I don't know. I don't know. If I, if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. That's how. That's the world in which I operate. All right, all right. Um, it doesn't so, exist. So I have no ill will toward. I, I think Evan's great. Um, sweet, sweet. See how cool that is. But uh, no, I like. I appreciate that because it's like you know, it's one of those things where it's like, I sort of like. I'm glad that like. I'm what ten years older than you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ten years. Twelve. Twelve years old. Oh, oh man, he's a kid. Anyway, glad, good thing we're not drinking. Um, if we were in the car, we'd get arrested. But anyway, uh, so... I'm 21. I know, I know. But yeah, we might get arrested anyway. I might. If we were in the car, I'd be get arrested. But um, so, you know, when I was 21, I, I was a jerk all the time. And you're like not. And I, I really respect that because I remember how I was at 21. Mm -hmm. And... I appreciate that, like you have the spotlight on you so often, and but you're still so like in tune and like in, in like you participate in the community, which I wish you know I think is great. I really respect you for doing that. And, Sweet. And you have to know that, and like I'm not the only person that feels that way. So mm -hmm. the fact that you do it at all, if you get heat sometimes, that's fine. We all get it. I know you. Yeah, well, I mess up, so I deserve yeah. it. Like it's important. I agree. well, yes, yeah. but. You won't get it from me because I respect you and I think you're doing a good thing. If I'm messing up though, I appreciate it. I would like, tell you personally. I appreciate we're friends it. Yeah, on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I, I would message that, you and though. be like, hey man, uh, you should take that down because you have no idea how many times I do that mm -hmm. if I catch up with other people. It's all the time. Like, hey man, I know where you got that, but you should take that down because of this reason. And they're like, no, uh, really? I'm like, yeah. And I'll tell you about it later. It's actually a funny story. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's a thing and you do a good job. And, you're just being in, you know, your willingness to just continue to, like, be involved is just, like, I like it. I appreciate it, and I, I, I respect it, and I respect you. I respect you for just doing an interview sitting in my car on the side of the road. Yeah, man, I owe so much to, like, to you and just the rest of the community. Like, you doing, like, reviews on my yo-yos and stuff definitely are good marketing, first of all, but also just, like, keep the yo-yo community going. And, like, so I definitely owe... So my, that, I think that's maybe one of the reasons why I don't feel like, like, like I deserve anything. It's like I owe so much to the yoga community because it's given me everything that I've like gotten so far. You work for it, you know. Uh, we can see you working for it, and like I feel like every time, every year, you're like, you build on it, and I feel like you're very humble about it when you do. Cause I'll give you a good example because this was uh, an interaction that you and I had after. Was it after you won nationals last year? It might have been. But I had just commented on it and said, you know, Evan did a really good job. His routine was really clean. It looked like he just cut his string down, but like the routine was really clean. And you you commented on my video. And you were like, you nailed it, man. I actually cut my string down a little bit. I wanted it to be a little cleaner and it worked out. And I was like, man, I must be getting better at this. But like mm -hmm. it showed and like you weren't like, like you were straight up like, yeah, no, it really helped me clean up the thing. And they were great. Mm -hmm. So like I, I just you know I appreciate that I appreciate how you're like humble about things and uh, I appreciate you being here and doing this, but uh, I think we got enough, man. What do you think? Yeah, dude, this is a pretty awesome, cool interview. It was. I sure. like it. See, I get we deep. covered a lot of ground. Yeah, I get deep with stuff. So it's like, likewise. I, I love to get deep. And I appreciate you being here. Thank you. And for uh, having I'm gonna me. I'm gonna play your yo-yo and and then we're gonna we're gonna say our goodbyes because Evans Evans gotta leave sadly tomorrow and I have yeah. to go back to work. But it's okay because it was great having him in Pittsburgh. Dude, yeah. I have to go back to Hawaii. The beautiful. Oh, it's so like, sad. Seventy-two he's, degree weather. He's got to leave this. Oh, man. This this awful cold weather. Yeah. It's gonna snow. Free. It's gonna freaking snow tomorrow. You're gonna go back to Hawaii. I'm so disappointed. Can I come to Hawaii? 
Anyway, you don't guys. want to go, dude. It's too. It's too nice. It's too nice. Yeah, it's too nice. All right, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, you just want to. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching guys make sure you like subscribe check all the links in the description I've got links to Evan's stuff and Evan's Instagram and Evan's YouTube that he posts awesome videos on sometimes but you're probably already subscribed to that stuff but if you're not go click on it cuz why what are you doing if you're coming from my social media subscribe to throws and brews oh, yeah. that's what we got to do we got to family nah nah anyway guys thanks for watching cheers to you have a good one see ya see you next time Aloha